Hello everyone and welcome back to Inspired Celeb and in today's brand new video we'll be talking about six things that we learned about from the 2021 VMAs. This will be a super awesome video so please make sure to go ahead and hit the subscribe button to see more stuff like this and hit the bell icon to get notified every time we upload. Please of course also make sure to go ahead and drop a like and a comment down below and without any further ado let's go ahead and get it started. So the first thing we learned is that surprisingly Doja Cat can reinvent award show hosting. Producers of recent award shows have struggled with the decision of whether to hire a host or not. But during the VMAs, Doja Cat showed us a third way with her charmingly casual non-performance as the VMAs nominal EMC. If you like famous people, keep watching, she said, while ignoring the teleprompter during what could loosely be described as an opening monologue. Later, she dressed up like a worm. Uh, I look like a worm, that's dope. Then put a chair on her head and wishes viewers a good night. Her mid-show performance of Been Like This and You Write, which began with an aerial routine and ended with a martial arts demonstration, was a pretty good touch as well. In all honesty, her entire performance was very shocking and we learned quite a bit from it. The second thing we learned is how Normami actually bridges the past and the future. The night's most exciting performance came from Normami, who underlined her status as one of her generation's most promising stars. The cutout silver moon suits, the core crushing choreography, the elegantly stark backdrop, all of it was on point during Wildside. The song contains an interpolation of Alea's 1996 hit, One in a Million, and the sensational finale of Normami's performance threw back to another important influence. When she gave Tiana Taylor, who was strapped to a kinky cross-ladder contraption, a lap dance, Normami was channeling Janet Jackson, who used to do the same thing to awestruck fans in concert. Now more than ever, Normami's long-awaited debut album can't come soon enough. The third thing is that we learned about Casey Musgraves' heartburn. Just Casey Musgraves, a classical guitar and some symbolism in the form of a giant prop heart lit on fire. Have you heard that she recently got a divorce? This dramatically spare version of Star Cross, the song's live debut and Musgraves' first ever VMA's performance was a welcome breather from pretty much everything else that happened at Barclays last night during the VMAs. We of course also can easily learn MTV's history lesson. Anybody who's old enough to remember MTV's Golden Age probably knows better than to tune into the VMAs these days. Nevertheless, the network celebrated its 40th birthday with a series of clumsy tributes to its own history, delivered by the artists who were there. And they said we wouldn't last, joked Madonna during a surprise cold open, an ominous callback to Michael Jackson and Lisa Marie Presley's infamous 1994 appearance. Then, instead of giving an acceptance speech for the newly made-up Global Icon Award, Dave Grohl and Foo Fighters just ticked off the names of as many VJs of the 80s and 90s that they could remember. Surprisingly and confusingly, Busta Rhymes performed a Lifetime Achievement Melody in the time slot traditionally reserved for winners of the Video Vanguard Award, even though no such award was actually given. The fifth thing we surprisingly learned was about Machine Gun Kelly's Punch Unite. Machine Gun Kelly's evening began with an altercation with the MMA roughneck Conor McGregor on the red carpet, peaked with a victory for best alternate video for my ex's best friend. He thanked the video's director, who he claimed he hasn't spoken to since an argument on the set, and concluded with a Nirvana channeling performance of his song Paper Cuts, aggressively sponsored by Doritos. He would not have made Kurt proud. The last thing we learned is that Justin Bieber's topical artist of the year acceptance speech wasn't too great. As he stepped up to the microphone, his hoodie solemnly draped over his head like a streetwear monk, Justin Bieber attempted to speak to our current moment of unspeakable tragedy and suffering. Predictably though, it didn't go too well. Anyways guys, that's unfortunately all we have time for today. Thank you all so much for watching the video, as we really do appreciate your viewership, and please don't forget to go ahead and hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, comment something nice down below, and we will see you in the next video. Take care until then, and bye bye